she um, I am Yanko Peaches um, a 19 year old girl I'm learning at um, MCA and I am doing business management and entrepreneurship I am a second born in my family a family of three of Mr. and Mrs. Peaches um, I, I have a sister and I'm a second born year girl and I also have a bladder Yes. How do you define yourself? Um, I define myself as um, one of the strong ladies that I know that uh, in me there is power. I know that I am someone who would fight to get what she wants. I would fight to uh, to know to do, to what I know it to be true. I know I'll fight for what I know I have to be, where I want to be. I know myself. I know what to do to get where I want to be. Um, what kind of a woman do you admire to be? I would admire to be an independent woman. To be someone who can stand for herself. Someone who can stand on her own for others as well. And I want to be a woman who would be there and be a role model to a lot of people, to a lot of young girls out there. To be a woman who others will look up to and say, I think her, in her, there's something we can gain. In her, we can learn something. And if I go to her, I'll be helped. What is your biggest fear in life? My biggest fear in life. My biggest fear, I... My biggest fear is to, to fail in life. You know, looking at my goals set. There are many ways I see life. Uh, being successful in... Um, academically, being successful in... Uh, spiritually and also being successfully in my marital status, my marital life. I want to be living a balanced life. I want to be successful in all, in all ways, in all part of my life. So my biggest fear right now is to fail in all those goals that I've set. Yeah. What are my hobbies and why? Um, uh, my hobbies, I love praying. Uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm a, I'm a kind of person who's, who loves sports. Right now I'm into basketball. Uh, why do I love that? It's, it's because when I get there at the court, I'm playing with friends, I, all my stress is gone. Like It's one way I deal with my stress. Being a person who does business, being a person who, who is in a lot of fields, I would say that is one way I deal with my stress. Let's say business are working, I go there, I find myself interacting with people, my friends, we laugh and everything. And yeah, that's, how, that's why I love uh, basketball. And also I love cooking, together with um, writing. I'm into poetry, so, and also my artist, spoken word. So if I do those things, I feel, yeah, I'm getting there, like I'm good. If something works out and I'm doing those stuff, <clears throat> I feel like uh -huh, we're getting there. Go girl, yeah. Okay, between day and night, which one works best for you? Day and night, okay. Um, I'll prefer day because 
uh, a lot of people are working in uh, during the day and let's say people are doing business as a business person there are a lot of people doing business during the day and if I am to meet those people then I meet those people during the day I do a lot of stuff during the day the night uh, I, I would work yes but then I love working with people so me being working with people I I would say the day is better for me yes what is your favorite meal mm, my favorite meal I love um, rice as men's made and um, any type of uh, vegetables yes what is the most annoying thing I've ever encountered the most annoying thing that I've ever encountered is when once some guy felt, uh, felt me feel like I am less uh, people out there speaking much of uh, ladies or females being weak that person uh, told me in my face that like it or not you are female and you are weak that was the most annoying thing to me the most annoying thing to me like how would you come to me and tell me that I am the weakest of all how can you come and tell me that I cannot do that because I am weak come on <laughs> yeah um, what is the saddest moment I've ever experienced um, the saddest moment I've ever experienced is when um, at some point in town uh, the market got burnt and my mom had a shop there that time so she just had to order some stuff and put it in there and then that happened and she was so sad and I was so sad you know her being my mom and being so close as we are I was so sad as well yeah it felt so sad <laughs> what is the happiest moment I had um, the happiest moment it is when um, I saw my family coming together because of my sister the time she got uh, she graduated from uh, from college she graduated and everyone came together and then out of that coming together a lot of things came out there is much love shown at that time those unity in it a lot of people who uh like the relationship weren't strong it grew stronger then and then from there my family grew stronger i guess to get to understand much more of each other mm. what was the point you thought of giving up ah the point i thought of giving up was when i did not get what i wanted i after my secondary school I expected so much like the points I got I wasn't so comfortable with them and then I expected myself to, to be um, a doctor but the points I got there did there, there, there was no way I would have gotten there and then at that moment I thought everything would never work again for me because I felt shattered and then thinking of a way forward I thought I would uh, like go on maybe do something else but then I did I wouldn't I never thought of going back like to start under screen start over again like my phone 4 so I I thought uh, there's nowhere else I can go now now I am doomed I am done <laughs> yeah <gasps> what do you wish people would stop asking me uh, what I wish people should stop asking me um, um, a lot of times when I meet people who maybe were together in secondary school or it's just been long since we've met they ask me uh, okay so now um, you have a boyfriend now or what? okay when is the wedding or something like okay now I feel like it's the time I just have to discover myself work on myself and then get to do something good and then all that comes to you is when am I gonna show you 
your boy, you know, people how to do. They're asking, ah, I'll move, what not? Let's see him, what not? And I'm like, okay, that's all that you would ask me right now, really? <laughs> oh my word, single, taken, oh, ready to mingle. Uh, well, I'm single. Yeah, I'm single and I don't think I'm ready to mingle right now, so, yeah. <laughs> Are you an introvert or extrovert? I mean, I'm an extrovert. Yeah, I would say, yeah, I am an extrovert. I, I, I'm sure you have discovered as well. I'm an extrovert. I, I'm that kind of a person who'd get to some place. I don't know the place, I don't know the people there, but I'll get there in no time, I'll make friends, in no time. We'll have people laughing there, make jokes and all that. I'm an extra bit, <laughs> yeah. What is your dream car? Oh my god. Those people who know me already, uh, I, they know. I'm into the G class. The G wagon is <laughs> the car I want to drive <laughs> in no time. <laughs> yeah. What is my favorite car? My favorite car. Um, I got it from someone who mentored me and they're still mentoring me. Makobidi. Sunga and Makobidi. He he always said if we fall time eight times, we rise up ten times. So that is one of the things that kept me going. Whenever I feel low or what, or things aren't working, I always remember those words four times we fall down eight times and we rise up ten times what is the biggest lesson life has taught you the biggest lesson life has taught me so far is that no matter what we go through in life we should never give up the only people who do not have to hope there are those that are dead so if I am alive, that's one thing that I have to be grateful for. And from that, it's a capital for me. Anything can happen, but I have to invest in that. And I have to take advantage that I am alive. And then, yeah, that's the only thing that I'd say that keeps me going as well. Say, as long as I am alive, I'll keep on hopping. What achievement are you proud of, but most of people would consider silly and weird? <laughs> Friends, <laughs> I would, I have those people I would be proud to stand out and point at them and say, those are my friends. Those are my friends. Like, they're silly. It, it would look silly, yes, and, uh, and weird in, in, in people's face, but that is an achievement for me not everyone you, you would be a friend to you but then those that I have I would point and say you are my friend yes um, how would you love people to treat you how would I love people to treat me um, I would love people to treat me and to see me the way I am like this is Yanko, Yanko Pages, and then you have to understand that she is a simple person. She loves being, she loves all those simple stuff, and those simple stuff are what matters most to her. And then if you are able to realize that, if you are able to see that, you'll be able to treat me right. And that's all I would say. No, don't need so much from people. Just the respect is okay for me. Hmm. What is your inspiration to those watching the program? To those who are watching the program, um, I want you to move on. I want you to go forward. I want you to know that life is mostly what you give. You should be able to live with people. You should be able to love everyone. You should be able to be kind to people. Only then, uh, people will be able to respect you to treat you the way you want them to 
and when life hits hard stand up again you only lose when you do not stand up from where you're fallen if you have fallen we, we fall uh, the court that I love you fall eight times rise up ten times it makes sense maybe it might not make sense to you but it does make sense because if you have fallen let's say twice that means there was one time you have risen and then the time you rise up again that means you the you, you rise uh, a lot of times more than the time fallen there have to be more falls no more more, more rise oh my gosh ha, 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 ha. the more time you fall the more time you get stronger if you fall once you have to rise up and then that's the way you you get to build yourself you should be excited you should be glad that you have faced some challenge if you're facing challenges that means you are getting there you're building up yourself the more life hits you the more you grow the more life hits you the more you see the negativity coming onto you that means there is uh, somewhere there's always the light, there's always light at the end of every, every tunnel so if you're facing anything any problem hope that at the end of that fight you're gonna get out stronger and stronger